I think we're I think we're live. I think we're going live. We are here for a very very special uh, edition of April Spotlight Live. This is a Batman special. Uh, I have Brick Bat Dad here with me. This is Ryan Zagalo. We hey. we we made the faux pas of wearing the same shirt to the live stream, uh, but it's gonna be awesome. Well, no, is it, uh, yeah, it's our uniform. That's what it is. It's our uh, our, our bat lug, bat lug uniform. Uh, we're gonna have some fun tonight, Ryan. Uh, I hope so. Yeah, I, you and I will at least. At the very <laughs> least, you and I will. We will at least have some fun, you and me. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, of course, look at some mocks. Ryan's got some really incredible stuff. We're gonna take a look at some mocks from some other creators. We're gonna do some new things. We're gonna do a top ten Lego Batman sets. Uh, but we're going to hopefully present that in a way that you may have never seen before. Uh, we, I have no idea how it's going to go. Uh, and yeah. then, of course, we'll have Q&A at the end of the show. Um, Ryan, thanks a lot for being with me. This, so this is the Batman special of April Spotlight Live. Let's go! Time to board this portfolio in a bag We're talking about the awesome fans of Lego. It's a special Batman edition. Well, there was the special intro. I spent I spent way way too long today working on the special intro for uh, the Batman episode of Baseball Spotlight. But I, I I wish I saw it. Like I don't. You gave me a bunch of technical excuses. I mean, you told them to me yesterday, but I didn't get to listen to it. So it's like. I kind of I thought about sneaking out to my my uh, front room with my kids and trying to see it real quick. So I but I can't wait to watch it. The intro. Yeah, I, I can't wait for you to see it. I hope you love it. Um, hey, everybody in the chat, we've got Aqua Mike, Mister Mister, Lego Matic, Jedi Master Bricks, Dave Morgan, Ben Khan, um, two of our wonderful moderators, uh, Doctor Information, DB Motion, Chantel is here, Jeff McElwee. Y'all, thank you so much for coming and watching. I hope this is a lot of fun for everyone tonight. Uh, Ryan, what have you been up to, man? How's... I just I was just checking your chats on my phone. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, nice. You're you're welcome to check the chats whenever you want. Yeah, yeah. No, um, I I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I am incredibly warm. It is. I'm in yeah. my studio. This space is not uh, insulated. I think it's 90 something outside, and in here I've got I've got cold air blowing in from the house i've got cold air pumping out from this portable thing over here and um it looks like it's about 82 degrees in here right now so i am not comfortable but um batman can handle the heat so uh boone can handle the heat so sure moto like, moto's here ac with that fox money like i don't you know i don't <laughs> yeah 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 of course um okay so we always start with just a little bit of introduction to who you are. How did you get connected with the uh, Lego fan community? Oh, wait a second. Before I do that, I'm sorry. I, I totally forgot myself here. Um, there, I typically will start this slideshow or this live stream. Oh, darn it. That's going to the wrong thing. All right. Never mind. Go back to my question. I, I was going to show a couple slides about a full. Um, and uh, a full spotlight okay, live, yeah. but the people who are watching, they all know how to get here. So, so this we'll just, is, we'll just dive the, right in. It's not just for adults; it's for people that are awesome. That that, that, that is that the main point. I, it, it's just uh, I just want everyone to feel welcome. So, yeah, so for, I'd rather be awesome than an adult. Frankly. Yeah, yeah. I don't have much of a choice. You <laughs> Ab know? Absolutely. So, uh, so Ryan, how did you get connected with the fan community? Uh, so, really, uh, Drew Smith connected me like i can make the story even longer than that but um drew like drew drew and i both married into the same family and so we would uh we would be having family dinners and we would just totally tune out our wives or his fiance my wife and we at that time and we just sit there and talk lego at the dinner table for the three hours that family dinners ran and uh like he you know he would just keep telling me hey you gotta you know there's like this whole community he was going to conventions and stuff and and meetings um port, port lug meetings and and he just kept 
telling me about it. And I was like, you know, like a lot of, a lot of us, like more introverted, like didn't, was like, I don't, you know, I don't really, my Lego addiction is something I like to hide. You know, I don't, I don't really want to like come out of the closet about that. And, but, but finally, you know, I went to some meetings and then went to uh, a con a couple of years ago, um, the one here in Portland and, you know, displayed some things that were okay. And I was just hooked after that, you know, just, just like, oh, I can do better. Let me, you know, and, and then the cons kind of drove me to, 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 to try to one up myself the next year after year. When do you think we met? When did we meet? Uh, well, I mean, probably two years ago or more, right? Okay. Like, I mean, pretty soon. Cause like, as soon as I started going to meetings, you were there. So I, I knew who you were before me, right? Cause you were, you were a minor celebrity before you were a major celebrity just in our little <laughs> love. Right. So everybody kind of knew you. Um, and I, you know, I just kind of sat there weirdly silently. Um, but I think we started uh, memorizing each other's names more when we noticed that we both liked Batman, which was probably a couple of years ago. I, you know? I think I remember the first, um, the first, like, what do they call it at the Lego store when you can go with your card and you get a discount for being on the, I don't know if that's, maybe we're supposed to keep that secret. Yeah, but uh, you shouldn't have said anything. But but uh, on on one of those days, one of those fan days at the local Lego store, you were just at the Lego we were store. we were talking about um, we were talking about Batman, and I told you so. So here's here's a little um, uh, controversy that I'll drop on everyone. Nice, you were known I, for drama. I told you that uh, I had this idea that I wanted to build a Batwing. Oh. But I but I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be like the scale and sort of the inspiration and style of the UCS Millennium Falcon. Yeah. yeah. Um. And then uh, and then of course I never did it, and uh, and big as big magic dis dictates if I don't adopt the idea, someone out there will do it because all good ideas have to exist in the world. Uh, and so tell us tell tell me about about the connection yeah. there, but that's, that's one of the first conversations I remember having with you about Batman. Yeah, no, I definitely remember stealing that idea from you. Uh, that did, that did happen. I mean, I, I might try to change the, some of the detail, retcon it a little to make it, make me seem more favorable, but, but yeah, that's, that's a fair summary is that I, I stole that idea from you. Um, the, <laughs> The, the first time I remember you though, was when we, we go, like when we're in those meetings, right? Where we're talking about our, our problem, like they're very similar to AA meetings, which yeah, yeah. That I just, I've learned not from going. I mean, I may or may not have learned from going, but I have learned from TV as well. I could have learned from TV, but anyways, we go around the table and we, we say like, I have a problem. I can't stop building down the train something or whatever. And a lot of us, like we would, tend to use categories that are <clears throat> Lego proper categories and superhero at the time superhero was a category and so you you and a couple other people there were very few of us that would say superhero and one time you you went around and you said you know you said you know I say superhero but really it's just Batman and I just like I got goosebumps and I was just like like even though that those sessions are supposed to be about honesty with you and your problem, <laughs> like I was like that's that's that he's he's really being honest and I need to I need to be that honest and that's and that was the same for me and I think I started saying I built Batman because Boom told me to and you're like who, who, what's your name again you know like no. I don't think you you never told me to build Batman directly but like you inspired me like from from that that, that Batman can be. Uh, you, you know, it's not that as narrow as it sounds. It hasn't been for me. Right. And, and, and since that time, I feel like I've sort of, I've broadened my scope a little bit and you have just really fully bought into I am the brick bat builder, right? And you've seen, yeah. Now you, you are known online as brick bat dad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, let's, what do you think? Can we, can we do a little show and tell? Yeah, let's do well, here's the show and tell intro show and tell it still doesn't have a catch song or whatever you call that is that the batman version of the song that you don't have <laughs> i don't know yeah yeah i guess hey 
Uh, Lissa Mayette just gave a nine dollar and ninety nine cent super chat with wow. with no message. She doesn't what? even have any words that she wants uh, uh, to hear on the live stream. She just is giving money. Oh, there it is. It's Ryan Bain, Brickbat Bain. I'm not my Bain voice because my my wife really really hates it. Um, but I'll 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 get a. Uh, yeah, I'll get a tattoo, cheek tattoos for, for nine dollars. Because I can't find the uh oh here this one. <laughs> oh yeah. My mouth put put your money where your mouth is. Yeah, now it's all weird, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. But, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> spending nine dollars with no message. That's that's uh that's baller. That's everyone uh that's it everyone. Uh Brickbat Dad and his Snapchat filters. Have a good night. Okay. No, I'm just that's kidding. A, you were wrapping that up because you, you don't want me to do that again? <laughs> no, but, I was saying that's all that's all they came for. That's all we're going to do all night is just you and your Snapchat filters. I thought you were just shutting down the show. No, okay. I, I love it. Uh, Lissa, uh, thank you so much for supporting the live stream. Really appreciate your kind gesture. Uh, and I will appreciate all of Ryan's ridiculous Snapchat filters. Ryan, so... You you must have some mocks to show us. What are you gonna, yeah, gonna me, show us? So this is I do have something like so most of the stuff I build is on the biggish bigger side of things, and um, for marital reasons issue reasons I have, keep a lot of that off site. Like once it's built, and so I don't have a ton of cash or a ton a huge stockpile of built stuff here. But I do have a couple of things, and like one I'll show is this this uh, kind of like. DNA computer. It's it's got a broken window up in the corner. There's a better one on my on my uh, Instagram, but it's it's meant to be like uh, one panel in Batman's computer. And you can kind of let's see. You like lift it up just a little bit. Yeah. Do the are the numbers going around? Uh, are the numbers the numbers are broke right now? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh wait, what's this? There we go. Oh, there they go. I, I had a cord stuck in them, stuck in between. Oh, it's amazing. And it almost like, does it kind of jitter? Like it? Yeah, yeah. We'll t we can talk about that real quick. So, so you see, like, it's it's just like, you know, it's just uh, a little belt with, uh, and then a double helix kind of spinning in front of it. And so when you look at it from this angle, right, it kind of just looks like a flat screen. But the, um, so let me turn this off. But so it's, let's see if we can see it. It jitters a little because, yeah, there maybe you can see that. Can you see the rubber band there? Yeah, yep. Yeah, so there, it's it's on a belt, so it's driven by a belt. And because that double helix is kind of twisted in there, like to get it to, like you basically build a ladder out of bars, and then you twist it, and it gets shorter, right, when you twist it. like, But it, um, it has the dynamic of kind of wanting to uncoil and push out. But uh. the point is it gets, it gets a little... Uh, it gets it creates some friction on the sides and doesn't spin real easy, and so then those um, then those rubber bands have to kind of get some tension on them before it'll actually move, and so it kind of goes through this thing where it like it, it moves a little and then gets you know a little stuck and then moves a little, but I really liked it. I the, liked that effect. The yeah. crazy thing is it it almost mm -hmm. looks like a you know yeah. sort of a like a rate. yeah for, exactly it's yeah. it's awesome it's great yeah. okay. What else you got? We're gonna uh, dive into Instagram. Or you got some more stuff. On yeah, hand? we'll dive into Instagram because it's it's more curated. Let, let me just show one more thing. I'll do it quick. Or let me two more things that, that are just like kind of work in progress things. They're not real impressive, so I'll go quick. But I'm working on a. I'll post it when it's working. But the I'm working on like a new kind of style uh, vehicle conveyor where I want to like kind of move. It's like a sideways rotisserie thing. So I want to move this vehicle along this kind of arc. Um, oops, yeah. So, so like kind of the, you'll have these hanging kind of vehicles. I have I have one we can look at that's similar. But this I want to like rotate around and and, uh, and rather than just lift them, which I like we can show on my Instagram. Yeah, and and for the people who are listening to that and going like what on like there's no way he's gonna make that happen. Uh, the answer is yes, he will because. He's accomplished every version of these things that he's tried so far. Um, so I think it was Orange Bricks uh, asked if you have a YouTube channel. So if Orange Bricks or anyone else watching goes to YouTube, how can they find you? 
Yeah, I think Brick Bat Dad will do it. I think, you know, and it's just sort of all one word, right? You go yeah, to YouTube, yeah. search Brick Bat Dad, no spaces. Yeah, um, it, yeah, if you put in the spaces, then it takes the words brick, right? And there's there's channels that are going to be much bigger than mine that it'll recommend if you have the word brick and Bat, bat Dad. you, you got to so do just, it all one. But Brick Bat Dad, I should be the top guy with no if you have no spaces. I'll um I'll go ahead and show people there. You want to get your uh your Instagram ready and uh Last and I'll... One. this is kind of this oh, is Oh, okay, cool. Like, so like this this is also not done, but it's like imagine I'm going to this is another screen, uh, probably a replacement for the Gotham City one we can look at on Instagram. But imagine kind of like a Gotham micro or nano scale Gotham kind of in front of or and behind this and this is like a nano scale uh like um train you know so it's like yeah like the the elevated train yeah so it'll like kind of zoom through the city right but this but this is all going to be inside of a screen right it's kind of like that dna <laughs> thing we had um and so it'll just be the tri the, the above ground subway zooming around gotham city right so just to give it more because right now uh yeah let's jump into instagram we can um and I can show you that computer. Um, while you're pulling that up, I'll go ahead and head on over here to YouTube. And if you just search Brick Bat Dad, all one word, um, you will get to Ryan and his that work? incredible. That worked. It worked perfectly. And uh, there's some really cool stuff here on his site. Um, one of my favorite recent ones is the uh, Zebra Batman for $10 using 100% official pieces. Um, so that's pretty cool. All right, so let's head on over to the Insta. So, so this one, I think we, uh, it, it's a little hard to see because it's kind of big and I'm, I'm stepped back here. But like this was a couple of days before going to Bricks Cascade 2019. This was the, the, the Batcave collaboration you and I did together. This was like my part of it, um, and then you, you added. Uh, several things to it. The 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 biggest, no, most notable one was the back computer for me, and so that's like I, I've been spending six months of my life trying to trying to get something I think that rivals that 100% Lego. But this was like the the uh, vehicle rotisserie that's kind of that's the uh, I have, I'll show you a video a little later, but it's the one that just kind of rotates flat versus the one I showed you I'm working on. And then it has a, a um, bat suit conveyor. We'll look at some other bat suit conveyors. It has I think 48 suits on it, kind of spinning around. And then at the top, it's got that Gotham that's kind of on, or I mean, sorry, the Wayne Manor on the top of the uh, stilt kind of things. It's meant to look like, you know, everything below the Wayne Manor obviously is the cave, but it's kind of this open layout that I prefer versus like the boxed bat cave kind of things. That's awesome. Um, awesome. So and this then, is, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just saying. Then of course here is the. Uh, yeah, this is the what I stole from Boone, the or stole the idea from. This you, is the this is me kind of like putting the finishing touches on. It's sped up, of course, but uh, the I don't think I stole that idea. Actually, I did steal that idea. So I I stole the idea to build a UCS, uh, bat wing from you, and I stole the idea of it turning into the bat symbol. Uh, Thing as well. Do you know how I stole that? You may have not known I stole that. Before. Well, we were, um, how did you steal that? Well, we were I talking about it. At, we were talking about it at, uh, at Comic-Con, right? Because you showed, yeah. you displayed the model when it was just the plane, when it was just the, when it was just the Batwing, you displayed it at, mm -hmm. at Comic-Con. And yeah. then, you know, about six months later at, um, Bricks Cascade, you had pretty much this done. Yeah, totally. But but yeah, so it was at Comic Con that I stole it because you you were like, oh, that's cool. Let me take a picture, and you were like, and I and I kind of showed you look, you know, look. I tried to make it really look like the bat symbol, you know, the shape, and you yeah. had me hold it up and kind of in the proper position and take a picture, and you got super uh, excited about that, you know, that that angle of it, and I was like, oh man, like the viewer really needs to see. Like I like the attack mode. That's <laughs> it's, a, it's a ship, right? It needs to be coming at you in attack mode you need to see it at that angle yeah but then you got even more excited with it at this angle and then yeah it took a lot of time and engineering to try to 
move something like that that heavy and have it turn around and change the angle. But like that was what was motivating motivating me was you being super excited about seeing that angle. And I was like, I, I can't just stand there and move it every time for everybody that wants to see it. What kind of reactions did you get? Oh, I can't go to us there. Um, what kind of reactions did you get from people at Bricks Cascade while you were while you were sharing this? Um, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Like um, some, some, you know, a, a variety, right? Like, cause I had that weird, um, weird, like uh, these, this thing, the mini blinds, which yeah. I, which I would probably consider a failure. Like this was the background or actually it was a little different than that, that I had at Briggs Cascade. It's on, that's on YouTube, not on my channel, but, um, but uh, you, yeah. And you can kind of see the yellow back there, but like, some people were like, what, what is that? You know, like, what is that weirdness in the back? Mm -hmm. um, but, and, and some people were like, this is the create, like one guy that really stood out to me was, was telling me it was the, you know, that he, he came to see my uh. Uh, thing. And, you know, like, I don't know if that's was true, but it really, you know, it really, um, it really felt good. Yeah. To hear that. But um, he said it was his favorite at the place. And so, yeah, I got a variety of reactions. Do you, and what do you call it? Do you have a name for this? Do you call it UCS Batwing or Millennium yeah, Batwing? Or? I call it UCS Batwing. That okay. was what I called it when I first told you. And, and, and you were like, what is, what is a UCS Batwing? But I think, I, I think, I don't think that's exactly what you meant. I think you were processing the fact that I stole your idea or something. Um, yeah, well, and I do remember when we talked about that, uh, you were very unapologetically like hey if you're if you're not going to build your thing in this amount of time like it's been two years buddy you know uh um, it it's it's fair game that's sort of that's sort of how i took it but. that sounds that sounds pretty jerky which sounds probably like it was true yeah <laughs> well i um i'm really pleased that it got built and i think i really actually think you went uh uh much more interesting direction than i was going um, but, uh, but it's cool. So you can see there, tell people a little bit about your, your mods, your bat, bat, what do you call it? Yeah. Bat mod? Yeah. So I call it Batman makeover, but like, so one of the emotional like things I went through when, when I'm like, when I was telling myself, I'm going to just build Batman for 10 years, right? Like with, which when you really like Lego, it can feel like, well, what, like, how much is that going to limit my enjoyment, right? But I, I still follow pretty closely other lines and I build lots of sets or not as quite as many these days, but, but I feel free to build sets. But one of the things I like to do is, is take a set and see if I can put it into the bat, you know, into the bat universe, like mm -hmm. the made up one, like fan fiction, not, not usually canon, but like in this one, I also think is kind of a failure ish, but, um, but it's like a Batman makeover, the Flintstone car. And um, you can kind of see in the background. I don't even know if I did a good picture of that. I think I have it on YouTube um, better. But like you can kind of see a cave, uh, the, the Flintstone house on a, on a bat cave in the background there. <laughs> um, but, uh, but this one, this one, we'll, we'll, we can look at a YouTube of this. But this one um, was an Osprey. Like I took the Black Widow set and... I started out with putting a sticker on it, like nothing, no, no change, no parts, just put a Batman sticker on it. So I was super excited. That was the first time that helicopter nose piece was in black. And I really, there were a lot of sets I wished I could like redo, as I say, paint black and make it a Batman set. But without that piece, it, you know, there's like seven helicopters you can't make. And then they finally did it with his Black Widow. So I started out with that and then I built the, the crossbar and the tilting to make it an Osprey or in my mind, you know, Batman Osprey. Right. Uh, this was before the, the Lego drama with Osprey, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, those are the Batman makeover videos I'll, I do and I'll post pictures of them there. This is the, like the trial of uh, the, um, the, the vehicle rotisserie. I had a double decker later. Like this one is, was like the early, I think this was like right when I got it kind of working, but then I refined it more. But I'm, I'll post more uh, videos, better videos of that um, in the future. But it's, but it's, I, it's I, incredible. I got busy building that new one. 
and then like this was this was a different kind of idea I had for build. This is motorized as well. Um, I don't remember if I kind of proved it in this video, but it's it's running on a motor. I prove it in the YouTube video, but it's um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just like kind of like the you know in the movie where where uh, Robin's walking around on the platform, spinning around, seeing these vehicles. I kind of thought maybe I'd build like seven or eight of these and have you know have that have them kind of come up. But I I've kind of changed direction and going maybe going with that kind of that ring thing that I showed you. But, um, so. Well, I think they're all incredible. You know, I've seen a bunch of different versions of you. You know, you kind of go through iterations of the suit conveyor and the um, the vehicle rotisserie, and I just I think they all look incredible. Tell me a little bit about your process. Like, how do you know when you've landed on like the right sort of format? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's probably a little different now that I've done more social media. Like like usually it used to be that like I knew that when like when I built something I would I would get excited about it. Like when I got I had an idea I'm like maybe this could be awesome. Then I build it, and it's usually I usually get more excited if it's if I if it's good or you know if I think it's good and I get a lot less excited to the point where I might stop um, if, if it didn't turn out, I don't like it. And so I kind of just, yeah, it's just kind of goes by how excited I get. But then when you start doing social media or it was, I guess it's similar to the, con, you know, when you do a con and you display something at a con, if people get excited about it, you know, you, you tend to get excited about it as well again or more. Mm -hmm. uh, and so like, you know, some things, um, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of lukewarm with and I'll post it and I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't, I, I agree with people. <laughs> this thing sucks. I mean, nobody <laughs> says this sucks, but when you post something that's pretty, pretty good, you'll, you'll get people that are kind of over the top, you know, like they're not, I, I don't, I try not to take too much of it, but they're like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. You know, and, it, and you're like, maybe, maybe this is good. Maybe it really is good, you know? So it, I like that about social media is you kind of check it. Like it's an, it's a mirror if you use it right, you know, like, and, but I, I, I really go with my own opinion. Like, is this, do I really think this is good? Um, then, then I'll, then I'll, then I'll post it usually to try to see if I'm wrong. Like if it sucks. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I like, uh, I, I really put with the, with the vehicle rotisseries and the bat suit conveyors, it's, it's an analytical number to some degree that I'm going for Cause I want to, yeah. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, no. You well, wanna. I I want to I want a big enough number there that I can fit a large a, a mass quantity, um, you know, similar to the Lego Batman movie. Where like I want to have you know, uh, 30, 40, 50 bat vehicles. I want to have over 100 <laughs> suits. And so like I need I need like a scalable solution for you know, for like bat suit conveyors. And that one I had was a fixed model that spun around. Well, we haven't, we haven't looked at it, but one of the first I did, it had 48 suits and it's like this double decker thing and it spins, but it's like, if you want to add another 50 suits to it, like it, it gets weird. It's like, you could have four on top of each other, which would be difficult and it'd look a little weird. And like, so I'm searching more for like how, what's the solution that gives me a hundred and could do 200 if I wanted, you know, like, um, and, and what kind of cool things could I, do once I'm that once it's that many suits like what 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 uh, other things could I do with it you know like um, so those are those are like to some degree quantity over quality right like I'm searching for that mass quantity because a lot of even the best bat caves in the world don't have a large amount of of, of bat suits usually in in their in their conveyors right. And so I really want to be over the top, a proper, you know, like have all the bat suits for one and have a bunch of custom ones too. How, how, um, I, I love the, you know, that you have custom made, uh, like track links in that one that you were just showing yeah. us. That's pretty yeah, incredible to me. Video about that. I stole that idea, um, from, from, uh, shoot, uh, he's the big guy. He's the guy with the unofficial guide to Lego Technic. Um, we, we should, we should definitely name drop. I, I should know his name right off the top. He's he's quite famous in our community, um, but I'm just blanking on it. But he's he, I've read his book, like, and it's a great book. But he he came up with that, and he was using it mostly for tanks. Um, but I yeah, one day I just was like 
thinking how maybe I should go back to using Technic treads to try to move these around like Lego does. Maybe, you know, I ruled that out, but maybe I should reconsider. And then I thought about this, how he had those custom uh, tank treads. And I was like, okay, th that is interesting because you can, those have axles going through them so you can connect to the side of it, right? So it gives you, um, it gives you this much better look. Um, like I have a small one here, but see like you can, you, I made it pretty narrow there where you're just looking, you're looking at the edge of the, of the, um, well that, yeah, actually that one's the other way. Yeah. Uh, uh, but anyways, it's a, it's a fun, it's more flexible. There's more things you can do with it once you're making your own custom tread like that, but it takes a lot of parts. And you, I sit in front of the TV for hours kind of weaving those treads together. <laughs> uh, that's, that's crazy. Um, all right. Let's see. You want to you know keep going up there? What do you what else you got? Yeah, I think we're almost done with the Instagram. We looked at that. This was that first bat suit conveyor I did. Did I like I, I still have it um, and I'll probably put it in my bat cave. I just I just want to like I just want to build a, a bigger, more uh, um, yeah, more expansive um, bat suit conveyor, but I'll probably just have both in there. Um, but yeah, from there I think we've seen we've seen it all. And, yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about how many of those custom figures have you made? Uh, probably a good 50 or so. I, I haven't posted, like a lot of them, you, you have to kind of like watch this video. Like I didn't post them all separate. I thought I might, but it, so a lot of them aren't good enough really to, for me to really want to do a separate post. Like I, I think I'm thinking about more of a format where I like a group of them, like two or three together or something. Yeah. Um, but a lot of these are custom and there's 48 there. Some of those are, are from sets, but I'd All say right. there's probably 30. There's, yeah, it's probably 50. This one I really liked that I just posted. I felt like it was worth in its own post. But, but um, yeah, I want to have like a hundred custom and a hundred, you know, a hundred or so standard. Here's a, here's a challenge for you. Since, okay. since you have been great at rising to my challenges in the past, Okay. Um, I think that on your YouTube channel, uh, you should do a month w of solid custom Batman figures. Every, uh, publish a publish a video every day. Every and, day. Yeah, publish a video every day. Jeez, and you, I have a day job. But I but you you don't have to. You can take as long as you want to prepare them. <laughs> oh, thanks. You know what I mean. You don't you don't you don't have to like start oh, on day one of a month and you know, and then, and be done by the end of that month, you could take three months to, to prepare all the videos, but publish them every day for a month. That's my challenge to you. And, oh, and you've got, what? you've got more than enough to do it. Yeah, that's in, 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 I get on, I get on there. Well, so maybe we take this offline so you can coach me, but like, what do I, like, I get, I turn on the mic and I hold up the figure and what do I, what do I, there's this, like, what, what? You just talk about how, you talk about how you made it, what pieces you use, because that's another okay. interesting thing. Yeah. Can, okay. can, can we turn right. off the screen? Can you turn off the screen share for a minute? Sure, sure. Are we uh, done? We're done with this for now, right? Yeah, I think we can, can be done with that. Let's, uh, let's do this. So, you are a purist. Yeah. And, and tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so, um. So a purist, I mean, we want to go with the definition of purist is like... For some people, sure. It, it varies. There's actually a little... It doesn't necessarily explicitly mean something because I'm, 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 I think, probably a, like a super purist. Like, so I don't... That means I only use Lego to build things. I don't... I won't use anything other than like a convention table, right? So I, I'll put something on a table. I don't... I, I would like to get to the point where I just do on the floor. Like you need to start somewhere, right? Like you, you, you if you don't put it on the floor, it'd have to float in space, right? And that, and it could, but you got to go to space. But anyways, I'll do, a table. I'll, I'll do a table. I'm fine with a table, but I won't use like, uh, I won't use wood to hold anything up. Um, meaning like that, like that, um, that Wayne Manor I had, like I wouldn't, if I can't figure out how to build something that holds that, and I want to make, I want to make a much bigger Wayne Manor and have it up on stilts uh, as higher higher than that one I have on my Insta. But like, if I can't figure out how to engineer it so that it'll hold all that weight and not fall, then I then I'm not going to display it. I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to say I built it right. Like so, I'm pure in this in that sense that I won't I won't solve engineering problems with anything but Lego. 
And then like with figs, it's, it's aesthetic, of course, is too. I won't do any color changing on Instagram other than the filter that does the whole picture, right? I'll hit vivid because, uh, you know, I don't know. It's Instagram, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but like, uh, but I won't like change the bat symbol from black to or white to, to pink or something like that. Um, it's you got to search through the catalog, find the closest thing you can, or just give up, right? You just you can't do the. Sometimes you just can't do the thing, which is why it's so tempting. But I, I'm just, uh, I mean, we don't need to go into my necessarily into my rant why, but like that's that's what that means, and that's. That's my interpretation of what a purist means to me. So when I came in with uh, with a bat computer that was a, a basically part of the cave, a facade, a, a deck, a, you know, the chairs and the railings and the rock that goes all the way around. And I, I loved the process of building my bat computer because I had used my video editing skills to put like three different sections of the cave and the computer on a computer screen behind the 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 uh, the facade that was built out of Lego, yeah. um, and that is not something you would have chosen to do. No, no. In in fact, as soon as you did that, you were dead to me. Yeah. Well, and you let oh. and you let me display it in your. You let me put it in the collaborative. Well, so I'm as much as I'm so I believe in like this is not a political show and you don't like the drama like I'm uh, as purist as I am. I believe in America and freedom, right? Like it, every 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 man and woman in, in but not children make their own choice, right? Like how what they want to do, how they want to live. What you made to even in, from in my opinion was objectively cool. It just wasn't all Lego. Right. right. Like, so, so it's, it's not that it wasn't cool and that I didn't like it. I liked it a lot. What, what, what it, um, the reason I didn't gush a ton was because I was kind of thinking in my head, Oh, ish, how am I going to one up that with just Lego? Like that yeah. is so yeah. good and so hard to beat. And I'm like, okay, so I have to start long-term planning. Like what if I had two years of my life dedicated to this? Could I do the <laughs> thing that Boone did in three days? Could I do something 20% better than the thing Boone did in three days? So that's <laughs> how I've been thinking since that, since that time. Um, yeah. So. Well, look, I, I, you're doing it. I think it's going to be incredible. I can, I can imagine the, you know, the picture in my mind. Did you want to go back yeah. to, you had pulled up the YouTube there. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's, been, it's weird, right? Like watching YouTube on YouTube, but like, we'll, I don't know if that like will collapse the universe or something, but yeah, let's look at that real quick. We we very soon, everybody here. We'll quick. I want to say we've got Holly. Hi, Holly is here. Um, uh, Ewok pilot, Bimper twenty two, Jaden Aguilar. Thank you all so much for being here. We've got our top ten Lego Batman sets coming up very soon. I guarantee you, it's going to be uh, a compelling. <laughs> interesting way to look at a, at a top 10 uh, that's that's coming up right after Ryan shows us a little bit more from his uh, YouTube channel all right look at that so so this is this is uh, this is just like in pitch black because I, I have some lights on those but that's that's not what I really want to show once once I get done um, talking about something so this is just like a Photoshop thing well I took two real pictures of those those real computers that I built but this is just me trying to describe, use a visual to describe what I'm having in mind, right? That, that's the background from yeah. the Lego movie, um, the Lego Batman movie. And it's like, I want to take those, those, those people are like, oh, that's a really cool back computer. It's like, yeah, that's just a panel for the bigger computer, right? Like, yeah. it's not something I built in a month. It's like, I'm going to build like, I don't know, three, three, four, five, or six <laughs> of those panels and then have a bunch of other panels and have this big, huge big you know big display that's just the back computer so that i can say i finally beat boone's like you know <laughs> thing that he, that he built like in a, in a week it took me a year <laughs> that's, uh, oh, that's awesome all right uh cool are you ready for the uh for the competitive top 10 uh sure Let's or, do it. or do you have more on your youtube channel you want to show uh, oh, oh i did want to i did want to plug this really quick um, this was the Bat Batman makeover kind of thing, the Black Widow thing that I mentioned. But I just, I, I, I like it. I, I got a pretty good positive response from it. This is, this is uh, the Black Widow said that I turn into an Osprey model. 
And I just like, I know there's a lot of drama right now about the, the Lego Technic Osprey model that Lego decided to not, um, not publish and a bunch of people got it. Um, and, but you know, they're selling for like a thousand dollars online, but like go buy the Black Widow set, you know, for 20, $30. And I think that, I mean, this isn't better because it's smaller than the, the Technic one. It is Batman, so it's better that way. But I like Ospreys, I think are awesome. <laughs> and I, I, I really like this one. This video of mine, like I, I talk all about um, Ospreys and, and link to link out to a video about them. But um, you, you can check that out if you're into the whole Osprey drama. This I posted this in March though. This was before it was a big Lego you know and it um, was and it was snowing it was snowing in march oh yeah yeah that yeah you saw that snow <laughs> yeah. in the background of the it movie. was beautiful it was beautiful yeah yeah uh we've got a couple a couple quick things i think you may have already touched on it but uh let's see uh oh boy <laughs> aqua mike tv said ryan do you like marvel that's a good question um i it's i i love it um, but it's a love hate thing. Um, it's complicated, right? Like it, it's, 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 it, it, Marvel's irresistible, especially with how well they've executed on the, the Marvel uni cinematic universe, right? Like, um, I mean, the comics are awesome too, but I, I really do think that it's pretty, pretty, uh, universally agreed that DC had kind of a stronger in, in the comic area. And then like Marvel kind of pulled ahead once we switched the cinematic. And then because of that, because cinematic and the mainstream and all this stuff, that you see this behavior from Lego because it's a corporation and wants to make money. And I and I love money. I love America, like I said earlier. Um, you know, but it's it's uh, there's a lot more Marvel like service from Lego. And I I I um, I'm just not as nice of a guy as, as Boone. And so it just irritates <laughs> me. Like in, in, when we sing, when I see more love, and I'm just like, man, you guys don't get it. Like. Batman is way cooler than Iron Man. What's wrong with you people? And then, like, I but I have you know I have probably two hundred Marvel sets that I that I haven't opened, like that, that I collect. <laughs> that I, you know, can't help myself. Okay, we can talk more about. Let's talk more about that a little bit later. We'll uh, we'll take a look at the newest Batman sets that are coming from Lego, yeah, and and definitely. you can you can expand on that a little bit when we get to like the brick sketches. Okay. Yeah, um, but now we are going to dive into our competitive top 10. This is the competitive top 10 of Batman Lego sets edition. Uh, competitive top 10 may not be something you've ever heard of before. I think we may have invented it last night. Uh, or maybe it's something that other people are doing. But it's just like a regular top 10 that you're used to. We're going to start with number 10. We're going to go to number 9. But Ryan and I each have our own list of 10. And we are going to take turns naming... Uh, you know, we're going to take turns. So I'll I'll start with 10. Ryan will go to number 9. By the time we get down to 1, Ryan will name the number 1 Lego Batman set of all time. However, all through the top 10 list, Ryan and I will have been competing with each other uh, to, to basically beat the other to our top sets before we've reached the top of the list, if that makes sense. So... We could get to the end of the list and have to name one of our sets that wasn't at the top of our own list. Um, yeah. So it should should be interesting. There are going to be things that are on our top list that don't even make it onto the list. So that's why I'm calling it the competitive top 10. We'll see. I hope it turns out being a little bit hilarious. Um, but, and like, give you an example. Like, the if you, like, I'm a jerk, and it's, so what's tempting to me is to take what I think is going to be your number one pick and just start out with that one. And make it number 10. It and fix yeah. it. You can't yeah. have the same thing twice. So I can totally sabotage you. Exactly. And, and, I, and I could do it. My motivation could be pure, though. It could just be, I want my, the stakes here are that the top 10 list is, is correct, right? Like, and, 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 and I don't want you to screw it up. So I, so I have to. <laughs> All you know, right. So do you want the number one spot? I'm gonna start with number ten, and that will and leave you. You just said you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to mess me up already. I'm just making sure. I'm just, make, just making sure that I I think it's best for me to relinquish to you the number one slot. Let's make it fair. Who has bat in their in their brand? 
that they use on social media. Who, whoever has that, maybe that person should get the number okay. one. Okay, great, know. great. It's you. You got it. Okay. Um, okay. And and you're also, I think you are the first guest of April Spotlight Live, both season one and season two, to give a super chat to your own episode while you are on the episode. Yeah, yeah, I did it before and while you were you, describing the top ten thing. Yeah. You just, you just brickbat dad with a ninety nine cent super chat. Thank you, thank you. That's all I could find. Yeah, thank I don't, you. Yeah, you got to support yourself. That's right? all you like, could find. Like, like you had to scrape up the change to put in the YouTube machine. Yeah. yeah exactly. Okay. All I'll right. So, um, we are going with. Uh, I'm, I'm headed over to Bricklink here. So we're on Bricklink. So we're going to take a look at every set that we come up with. I have my list. Here it is on a piece of paper. Ryan has his list. And I am starting um, with number 10. I'm going to say that the number 10 best, oh, best uh, uh, Batman set is 6864. This is Batmobile and the Two-Face Chase. And what's going on? It didn't go. It didn't look up. There it is. Batmobile and the Two-Face Chase. So um, I, I the reason I like this one, there's there's two very similar sets that came out, uh, I think, in the early 2000s. Well, this one's from 2012, and I think a, a predecessor to this set was sometime in the early 2000s. And um, the uh, this one's called Batmobile and the Two-Face Chase. There's another one called the Batmobile Two-Face Escape. And they have very similar Batmobiles, but between the two of them, this one is my favorite. I uh, I just I think it's a pretty nice style for a Batmobile that isn't you know representing a particular Batmobile from uh, Batmobile history, um, which is another thing we can talk about in a little bit. I I, I think is, is is really wonderful about building Batmobiles. Um, you'll see a, my my list has a lot of Batmobiles on it. Um, but so the, anyway, that's that's one of my favorites. It's just a great you know sort of like middle of the road set. Where you know, if a kid wanted a Batmobile back in 2012, this would have been a great set to get. So there's that's my number ten. Number ten. There you go. What what, what number was that again? Six. Six eight six four. Batmobile and okay. the Two Face Chase. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, that that was from Batman too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's not even on my list. I th you're already messing up my top ten already. So, like. <laughs> we'll see if we can get it back on track. I mean, so uh, let's see. So, so this is number nine. You are Ryan is about to announce number nine. Number nine. So number nine is I think um, the Batman Space Shuttle seven zero nine two three. Seven zero nine two three. The Bat Space Shuttle and the coming in at number nine on our list of top ten. Yeah. So for me, like this is probably the craziest set lego batman set that lego did right and so in you know that in watching that movie and going oh that's awesome they have the bat spatial and that's crazy and then they fact actually came out with a set um like i just really uh want to see more of that like more range and um you know not you, you don't necessarily have to keep remaking the same similar batmobile lego like you can you can do stuff like that and i i don't know i think it sold pretty well i think i bought six copies myself so hopefully that helps uh, but really i did like i did recently bricklink a couple of the the cockpit um yeah. which is all sort of one molded piece and it, and it has it has the bat logo printed on right yeah yes. and um and i i thought i could use it for something cool um yeah you can get them for like a buck and it's i mean i would have i would pay like five bucks like yeah. it's an awesome piece and i just so i don't it may have not done super well but I loved it. I really liked that set. All then right. We got number, number eight. All right. So we are at number eight. Man, this is going to be so hard. This is going to be so hard. You're so nostalgic. I, I, is anything on your list from the last 10 years? Is anything? Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. sure. Um, you, you mean like like the, the, the sets themselves? Are the sets themselves from the last 10 years? Yeah, the release date. The, like, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, in that case, I'll I'll go with number eight. Um, I'm gonna say, oh, the uh, uh, number seven seven eight four. Seven seven eight four. This is the Batmobile Ultimate Collector's Edition from 2006. 
And since you're giving me a hard time about I stuff that's come out in the last 10 years, um, I'll go back to the, the very, very early days of Lego Batman. And, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah this and, is 15, but, but 14 for, years old. For number eight, for number eight, right? Okay, so we're that's at a number solid eight. Pick, that, that, but just for the record, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just giving you grief, but uh, that's a solid pick. I, I think that's the right place for that. That's a good, that's a good, it's not minifig scale. That's the only problem I have with that. But it's really, it's really cool, and it's yeah, um, yeah, I like that stuff too. So I, I do wish, you know, I'm, I'm, I think maybe a Technic fig would fit in this. It might be a bit big for Technic yeah. fig. It's probably yeah. it's too small for construction. Um, maybe about right for like uh, Galador or something like that. But that's one of the things I, I wish that there was a, a bit more in the way of like options for building figures in different scales to minifig scale. Um, I know we yeah, there's probably. there's some there's some creative things out there. Um, but uh, and of course probably like construction um, uh, hero factory and uh, like the the buildable figures which we got one Batman and we've got a, a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Um, those that might be the most sort of flexible universally uh, after minifigs. Um, but I, I would really love something in you know the the three to five inch figure scale, uh, similar to classic Star Wars or you know the old Batman like Kenner and Toy Biz stuff that I remember from my childhood. Um, but anyway, you know we work with we work with what we have. Um, anyway, so there we go. That is that is number eight. Ryan, take us to number nine. What do you got for number nine? Uh, so, uh, you mean? Seven. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, number seven. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay, number I seven. Just... You're trying to trick me. <laughs> um, the, the, uh, the, this is a long title. The Dark Knight of Gotham City, San, San Diego Comic-Con 27903. exclusive. 77903. 77903. This was definitely on my list, and I was going to place it higher on the list because... Uh, because oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Um, I, I think this thing is just beautiful. Uh, I, I got it down from the shelf so that I could show people the box, but I haven't opened it because it's just, it, um, you know, it's just too rare. Uh, it doesn't really have any exclusive pieces except for the 80 years tile, right? So, or is it a sticker? Oh, it looks like a sticker. So, um, I you, like you had that right, just sitting right there. Yeah. I, 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 I knew we would talk about it, so yeah. I got it down. Um, but we... Here I'll 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 show everybody the box. It doesn't get to be any higher than that. It's it's because because yeah it's it's awesome. It's really it's really cool. It's the only set. I mean the reason I like it it's it's micro scale so that's interesting. Um, but there's a lot of micro scale like Batmobiles and stuff like that. But it's um it's the it's the only set that depicts Gotham. Right? Like I, I I probably would push it down the list if we had um if we had had like, I don't know, a mini scale version of a Gotham, you know, so, I mean, I don't even know what that would, the thing, would the thing I love about it is that the, uh, 80 years of Batman coincided with 50 years of Comic-Con and it was That's just, fun. yeah, having the it, double stamp on here. It, it was, yeah. there was a whole, they set up a whole Batman, um, museum, uh, you know, the, the, they had a couple of the actual vehicles in there tons of actual costumes um you know, a bunch of old comics and like interactive experiences i think they had they had the arkham asylum anyway i wish not, i could have been there with you like, it, I don't know. It, it, it was a, a good year to go for a lot of reasons it, it was and and I, it's kind of i can't believe it that the only year i've ever been to sdcc was last year when it was 80th batman uh yeah. 50th anniversary and now this year is the first time in 51 years that the event is not happening it's crazy yeah exactly um but anyway so that's why that one would have gone a little bit higher uh in the list for me but but that's cool all right so let's see that means yeah, i need like to cross cool. that off i need to cross that off of my list so that was number seven right we are going yeah. to number six. Ooh man it's getting hard this is getting hard um all right this uh, we, we'll do. Can we come back for like an honorable mention after the after the top ten are over? Um, I don't. Know. I don't. What, it seems like a trick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with um, seven six zero three five. Seven six zero three five is Joker Land. 
And, oh, I thought, yep, Joker Land. And the reason I like Joker Land is because this is one of my favorite Batmobiles. This is one of my favorite minifig Batmobiles um, that's ever been released. You, you, you had to get this giant set that was almost, you know, probably overpriced to get it. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. One of these should be just the just the car. Oh, I thought we'd see just the car in here, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, anyway, the corner it's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. That's um. That's that's one of mine, and this this is probably like a guilty pleasure top ten. It probably shouldn't be uh, at whatever number we're at here, um, but uh, but so yeah, it is. Yeah, you buy that a thousand piece set. Uh, yeah, so again, that's a that's not a not a correct choice. <laughs> but so you hit on it earlier, like the the fact that um, so the challenge with Batmobiles is if you're building, you want to build a minifig scale, but then at that scale, it can be really hard. I mean, it, it takes either a ton of time or is not possible to get it to look exactly like you want. And I feel like I've seen, I, I myself struggle in particular, I guess I should speak for just that, but I also think Lego struggles ca capturing exactly what they're trying to do. But um, yeah, I, don't, I well, just- you much know, better at the big Batmobiles, right? And where it's easier, where you have a bigger canvas. Right. All all of my Batmobiles, all of my Batmobile mocks are larger than minifig scale. Um, mm -hmm. But part of the you know part of the reason I'm okay with it. So this is my recent. This is my most recent Batmobile mock. Yeah. And you can see there's That's a awesome. mini there's a minifig in here. This is a very large car. For that minifig. Yeah, that's still minifig scale to me though. But I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, just build it oversized minifig. Right. And um, and um and that's that's kind of what I do. And and part of the reason I feel okay about that is that um there are some examples of very large Batmobiles, particularly um speed in yeah, with the, the speed wagon, um the uh Batman and Robin with um who whatever Joker was Batman in that movie. Uh uh I think it was uh he was a oh who was that guy Clooney Bruce Clooney right. George yeah, Clooney, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Huge, that yeah, yeah. that Batmobile was huge and I think that there are some comic book iterations of the Batmobile that are just like monstrous, um, so I feel I feel pretty okay about about building them larger um, because they definitely I, could have built that that Jokerland Batmobile they could have made it bigger it didn't it, they made it very minifig scale right like city almost city or i can't i don't remember how many studs wide that is but it's it's not real big and they could have made it bigger it's like eight wide it's, it's eight i'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure fine. it's about yeah one two i think it's about eight wide one two three four five six that, seven, man, eight, you yeah. don't want to be driving down the street and there and see a speed champion car right next to you that's just as wide as yours right like you need right. to be 10 studs i think right least. right so, ant bandit ant bandit comes in with a two dollar super chat and uh, said, what do you guys think about the 2020 Batman sets? We will, we are about to get to the 2020 Batman sets. So Amp Bandit, um, fear not. We, we're going to talk about the 2020 sets very soon. And I'll, I'll go back to the split screen that so that everyone question. everyone yeah. can appreciate your bat glasses. So yeah, um, $2, I think I paid about $2 for these. So that's that's what uh, Ant Man's, what was it, Ant Man? What was, Ant what was Bandit. It? Ant Bandit. Ant Bandit, good, good. Um, Ant Bandit, this is what you're... Your two, I hope this is what your two dollars got spent on because Boone gets the money. I don't. So hopefully <laughs> All right. But, uh, I think so, it's your turn. Where are, where are we at? Four already? I, I can't see anything of these. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Are we? Is, I think. Well, I've uh, crossed off one, two, three, four. Well, shoot. Hey, <laughs> live chat. How how far into the list are we? Well, did, I do, did I you're just do? Did I just do? Did I just do six? Yeah, you're trying to. Okay, so you're to the top spot. You're right? on like, five. You're on five. My bad. No problem. Um, this is this so, is this is number five in our this, what are, we're competitive really top ten. Up. So, uh, Joker Manor seventy nine twenty two. There's two like already this list. This list kind of sucks because I mean it's awesome, <laughs> but it kind of sucks because. There's too much Joker manner, too much Joker stuff in it because of what you did. Yeah, well, there's no Batmobile in in this one. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> if they if they build a good Batmobile, then uh, you know, I would I would uh, put it. But I just really I really liked how big this thing was, 
And I, I thought it was a really, like sometimes Lego does a bad job of um, movie tie-ins. And I felt like, you know, this was um, a, somewhat of a major plot point in the movie, right? Like where he, he dresses up the, the Wayne Manor. And so it was just, uh, it was, I just thought it was a really good choice and it was really well done. And they incorporated the roller coaster in it, uh, which was new and exciting at that time. Yeah, it was um, very new. Yeah, and, and just there was a lot of little details. It was a fun build. Like there's a lot of little details inside of Wayne Manor. It, it just was a really good set and not, not necessarily the standard kind of um, thing. You know, it was just more epic in build and still minifig scale. Like I, I, I guess I kind of like big scale minifig scale things. Yeah. Okay, so we each only have two choices left. Okay. Is that right? We are down to number four. I am about to yeah. name the, the the fourth best Lego Batman set of all time. So your honorable mention thing, maybe when we for the number two in the number one spot, maybe we can we can describe what the runner what we were what we were agonizing over. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Or however, I think when we when we get done when we're down to number one and we're done, then we each get an opportunity to 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 mention one or two that we really wish would have been on the list yeah okay is that is that okay yeah that's that's fair all right so i'm going to say that number four in mm. the competitive top 10 lego batman sets of all time mm -hmm. is and i'm stalling because it's really hard for me to, to to decide i'm going to say because i want to put this higher but i only get two i only get four and two so I'm yeah. going to say that, that number four is 70917. This is the ultimate Batmobile from the Lego yeah. Batman movie. Good. Yeah, that's a great choice. And I think that's a pretty good position for it. Like that, that, I, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great set. Um, it was on my list. Um, it was like, I, I, I have not just a list, but like a strategy document that I'm using, right? So. <laughs> now so this has helped this is this has helped me because now i don't need to worry about that placing that one okay but i really wanted that on the list um, so that's... so i'll talk a little bit about why i think this is such a cool batmobile um you know it's 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 big of you know of course talking about minifig scale batmobiles that are much larger than minifig scale yeah. this certainly is one and yeah, i i, I happen to happen something. to have it happen to have it right here um yeah, but uh so it, you know at the end of the movie this was this was the Batmobile that they sort of get at the end of the movie, and it's when they're all coming together and they realize that they need to work together, and so there's three different parts of the Batmobile that, that come together. I'm going to see if I can do this um, carefully. So this is yeah. like the Batwing yeah, that, here, funny. and then um, there's... there, And I, I think it's so cool that there's um, yeah. Alfred dressed up as, you know, in his Bat Super costume cool with the mask, um, and I, that seems to me to be kind of a chauffeur hat. With yeah. A bat on and it. and cool. that is, that is definitely a throwback to, um, you know, to the, to the sixties Batman, because I remember in the, in the sixties Batman movie, there was, Oh, I totally just broke something. Um, yeah, well, that's, that's what I did. <laughs> do. Uh, but anyway, mine too. so the the standalone Batmobile from this, I think is one of like the raddest shaped yeah. Lego Batmobiles that's ever been made. And, and, and the, and then the whole thing together is just really awesome. So that's yeah, why that okay. one, that one ended up on my list. That's like right. four times better than the, the Batmobile in the Joker land. Just that, just that one piece in the front. Yeah, sure. Sure. But I still like Joker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really messed this up with Joker land. Didn't I? I should have, no, I should have left that one out there. I mean, you got to okay. vote with your heart. It's just, yeah, it's just okay. messed up. <laughs> All right. What, uh, what is next? You're, you're naming number three, Ryan. What is the number oh. three Batman Lego set of all time? Um, man, this is a tough one. Um, I Quick, before you, before you do that, Moto yeah. said, I thought it was four vehicles with Robin's motorcycle. He's absolutely right. It is four oh, vehicles. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah the I motorcycle forgot that the motorcycle driving. comes out of the back of there. Yeah, so. Yeah. Good Absolutely, call. yeah. That's thanks, Moto. We should be we should be embarrassed. I, we are embarrassed by that. It, well, it's just I've talked about this before. Too. What? I was thinking three as well. Like I, 
I, I would yeah. have corrected you if I remembered, but I yeah. forgot about them. Well, now we are on number three. So yeah, now we're give on it to us. Three. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go with, I wanted this higher, but I can't risk it. I can't risk uh, not, not getting it on the list. So I'm going to do Batman Classic TV Series Batcave 76052. So, so like I said, I like this one. I, I in my strat, my strategy document uh, thinks of this as, as a contender for the top spot, but I uh, can't risk it. Um, and th this one, I gave you the number, right? Seven six zero. Yep, five. we've got it. Um, this is one of my favorites. It was on my list. Um, it is one that uh, would not have been this high on my list, but I, I'm glad you said it because I, I wanted it to be on the list. Um, yeah, this is really cool. Uh, what do you What do you like about it, Ryan? Um, so for me, this is the the best example of uh, I think the the right back cave to to be building right where it's a good good balance between um, an uh, an open floor plan. Like I tend to go larger scale, but I like the open uh, kind of the, the open model um, style where you can kind of, where you can add to it a lot like how people build cities, you know, their Lego city, they just add some roads and some buildings and it's bigger. I, I think that's, that's how I build my back cave. Um, and um, this, this was a good balance because it had, it had, um, it, it had it had a, a decent back computer. It had the the reactor, and it had um, the the land the uh, helicopter landing pad. It had a lot of things. And it had a lot of cave to it. It had uh, a, a nice, really well done portion of Wayne Manor. You know, it doesn't it doesn't it's it's the only um, well sort of the only set that has uh, a Wayne Manor on top of it, right? So that that. That, that I thought was really cool. I'd love to see more sets like that. It had a gutter, like, it, you know, on the on the roof. Like, I don't think there's a <laughs> They built, you know, with a bunch of parts. Like, they, they uh, it was really, um, a really cool set and a fun build. And uh, I think most complete. I don't think it did real well. I don't think, I, I think it's like a little too far back. You know, I don't think, I don't think, I, kids, I don't think we're watching the, you know, the 1966 stuff much and it's kind yeah. of dorky to watch now so i get it but i i love love the car i think yeah the car is amazing and it's not very big yeah they, yeah they nailed it they yeah. did a great job um one of the best batmobiles that lego's built yeah definitely just yeah it in the the you know the future of batmobile is my second favorite batmobile you know in I, that I, one I, is. I can't say in real life because it's not real, but but you but know just. I mean, it's real life. I can touch it. Outside, outside of, um, outside of Lego, like if we're just talking about the cars, okay. the Batmobile. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, 1966 yeah. is my my second favorite Batmobile. Oh, um, yeah. and I my. Don't know if mine be if that would be on my top ten, but they nailed it. They, yeah. They, so that's why I really like this one. Um, yeah. I actually have not built this model, uh, and I it's it's on my list of like I want to get the pieces. I'm not going to buy the whole set because I, I think part of what you're talking about the um, the the popularity of this set. I I don't think that the uh, target market and well I do I, I do think that the target market and the price point matched. But it just, it wasn't big enough. It wasn't a big enough target market. So yeah. if the price had been lower, they would have broadened that, that target market a little bit. Um, yeah. But, uh, or if it, if it was, you know, more generally Batman and the exactly. price was higher, they broadened the, the, yeah. the target market. But, um, but anyway. That's probably why we won't see that. We probably won't see, you know, like that's why I think the current uh, Batcave is, is $99 price point is because they, they're, they're, they're not, thinking about it deeply and they're thinking well last time we had an expensive back cave, we didn't do well it's like yeah, yeah. because it was too niche right, like, right. but yeah um, well anyway so i love this car um okay that was my what was that that was uh that was your number three yes that's good i get to cross that off my list because it was on my list and i have to think carefully i have to think carefully about what i want for number two i'm thinking about number one are you going to put what I hope you would put at number one 
And if you are, then I can save this one. If you're not, then it will be a travesty and it doesn't even make the list. <laughs> so right. I have to I have to decide whether I'm going to put it at number two. It's one of those mind things, right? Because you you have to you have to know you have to know you have to guess what I what I know about you. Like do, do I know what and you have to guess what I would put. Well, do I agree with you on this thing, right? I don't know if we agree with each other on this one. I, I think we do. I'm do you gonna think I know what you're gonna say? What 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 you're worried about here? I don't know. I okay. I think that there's a chance you'll say for number one, what I would say for number one if I had the number one position. But I but I don't know. All right, yeah. so here we go. It's too much talk. We're gonna oh, go with yeah. number two. Agreed. We're gonna Most go with number correct. number two. I'm going to say, going to say that for my number two, it is four zero four three three, the limited edition. 1989 Batmobile, which is minifig scale. Nice. Oop. Four four. What is it again? I I know that. Four zero four three three. So this was the set that you could only get. Um, I believe I believe it was free. I believe it came free with the larger 1989 Batmobile last year from the Lego store. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, I think so. That is how that you was. To, yeah, you had to have it. You had to buy it on the first couple of days. Yeah, of 1989, bigger, bigger one. Yeah, and um, oh, so it didn't come free. You had to pay for it, but that yeah, was free. No, oh, yeah, sorry. oh, it yeah. came free with the okay. You got one free gift if you bought the 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 uh, that I think it was like that weekend. You bought if you bought right. the ultimate Batmobile for two two fifty or whatever it was. Um, yeah. So um, I'll talk a little bit about this one. The only reason I have this model in my possession, and it is still in the box, it's up on the it's up on the shelf up there. The only reason I have this is because my good buddy Ryan picked one up for me oh, gosh. at uh, at at the at the Lego store, and and made sure. That uh, that I I could access this product. Um, I didn't do it for any other reason than just because I'm a nice guy. Because I already had, I already had the uh, the the larger one. What's it called? It's called the um, the well, yeah. it's uh, it's just called 1989 Batmobile, the big one. I already yeah. had that when it came out, so I I didn't want to go buy a second one. Just to get uh, the the minifig scale one that we're looking at here, the limited edition. Um, so Ryan hooked me up. Thank you very much. Uh, I can't tell you how how much I appreciate the fact that uh, that I get to know that uh, that's one that I have. Well, I'm 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 glad you like it so much. I did buy so, uh, I did buy it on launch, and I did get some some of those. One I have my own as well. So. Uh, and boom, my good buddy Boone helped me get Zebra Batman. So, um, you know, yeah, you know, I, I don't want you make, making it sound like I'm a nice guy here because no, I, I actually got the, you know, the better end of the, the deal there. And it, yeah, yeah. And it was, it was, it was more capitalism and commerce. Um, oh, okay. Between okay. two friends, you know what I mean? Like, all right, all right. But I, you know, I don't. I'm sorry. I did to ruin the moment. <laughs> but I, the reason is. Because I I'm I'm gonna break your heart with, and I want to oh wanna, no with, with oh no pick. and because okay. I know I'm pretty sure you were gonna choose wanted 1989 the, the ultimate one at the top. Um, what we get? What do we got? But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with um, the the tumbler Joker's ice. No, ice what? <laughs> Give me the number. Give me the number. Seven eight eight eight. Seven eight, Seven, eight, eight. Eight, yeah, three eights. What? Joker. Okay, hold on. Why isn't this working when I do it? For a, the Tumblr, Joker's Ice Cream Surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, you have it here. The number one 
Lego Batman set of all time. Ryan, explain I mean, yourself. So far, so far. I mean, Lego could, could build something better, and then maybe we'd change it. But so, <laughs> so look, it's minifig scale. So, so building something that's not minifig scale is awesome. That, you know, like the 1989 Tim Burton one is a fantastic recreation. You know, it's very accurate, but it's not minifig scale, right? Like, so it's kind of, it, I can't really put it in my back cave or, or I haven't figured out how to make what the narrative is, how to make it make sense. So there's problems with it. The front has that seam that drives me crazy. It's awesome. And it should have been on the list. And I blame you for this, that it's not on the list, but the Tumblr, I think, is the best minifig scale Batman vehicle that Lego's made. I've seen a lot better, like, fan things but uh, than Lego's made, than anything Lego's made. But uh, but that's, I think, the best they have. A lot of their Batman builds are, are not right. I'm, I'm a big fan of Tumblr, so that, you know, as you are of Tim Burton, like, um, those that series, to me, is... Um, objectively better than the than the Tim Burton stuff right like it's so for me uh it's a strong it's a strong set the tumbler is a Batmobile you gotta have and that's that's probably the best minifig representation of that particular one I know let me have it it's you hate it you hate me I'm dead to you now I'm, I was pretending to be frozen because yeah. I don't know what to say this is this is beautiful, wonderful. Thank you, everyone, for watching the very first competitive top ten. Yeah, we really messed it up. It's... It was it was that's part of the beauty. That's part of the beauty yeah. of it. Um, okay, so we we each get. Do you do you have any honorable mentions? Um, so the uh, definitely the the Tim Burton one. I'm I'm sad as you probably are. Um, the the. Um, I like the the giant size tumbler myself too, um, but like I said, I just favor mini fig scale. Like it, it just seems like more of a challenge and more more uh, in ver in universe. So, but so I I I wasn't probably gonna do that one just because it's, it's not mini fig. Um, how about you? What, what was your? Well, this is certainly this is certainly would have been at the top of my list, um, and I you know. I think I think our our decisions. Oh, Holly says boo hiss <laughs> with a with a dollar ninety nine super chat. Oh um, really? Holly gives a dollar ninety nine super chat, which means the boo hiss is for me. I assume. I don't know. I don't know if the boo hiss is for you. Oh, okay. We get Ryan's Batman COVID mask. Yeah. COVID mask. This is, this is what I'd like to spend that two dollars on for what. I how much was it? Yeah. Dollar ninety nine. Dollar ninety nine. Holly, thank you so much. I'm gonna look right into your eyes and tell you thank you for supporting the live stream. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Just Joker. Alyssa says Joker gave this stream a thumbs down. Uh, <laughs> Holly still says I still love of you guys. You did. So, um, yeah. So this one, I, I, but you know, one of the things you said was that series, and you're talking about the Nolan. The Christopher Nolan yeah. series, Batman Begins, um, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, we watched um, him train with, with Ra's al Ghul and learned that he's, or the masses learned that he's a ninja, essentially. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. it's awesome. Tim Burton, um, come on. Like, right. it's, it's good, I, but it's, it's silly. I completely, I completely agree with you on the films. Yeah. Um, from a, like cinematic That's what both those Batmobiles are from from right? from from a cinematic you know appreciation standpoint um but for me it's just all about the car and oh, the um the the, 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 the beautiful yeah the uh the 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 Burton Batmobile I, and I love the Tim Burton movies because I'm I'm a very big Burton fan um and uh so so there are things about those films that I will always love even though I can look at them and say yeah they're not as good perhaps films as the Nolan films, right? And I, I appreciate yeah. Nolan as one of the greatest directors of all time. Um, but anyway, uh, but the car, this is, 1989 is my favorite Batmobile of all time. Um, I absolutely love Batmobiles. I'm more enthusiastic about Batmobiles than I am any other car um, in, in fiction or reality. So I can safely say that this is my favorite automobile in history. Um, and, and, and this, 
may be my favorite Lego set of all time, though I'm, I'm not quick to say that, but it is at least in my top three Lego sets of all time. So this certainly would have been my number one um, Batman Lego set uh, of all time. But... Uh, I mean, Some... I definitely supported with my wallet. It's just, yeah, it's just, yeah, um, yeah. I, I just like the, I mean, I, I don't, we should, shouldn't get into this and make it worse, but like, I'm also a bat flick guy as well, right? Like, so I just, I like the the notion and the idea that, that you know, that he's an older, stronger, and, the, and it to me, it jives with the um, military type thing. Like, you know, you're not going to have this kind of whimsical, it had the shield in 1989, but it's 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 just form doesn't doesn't actually look robust like the kind of thing you know it doesn't look like a tank that you mm -hmm. want to be roll, chasing criminals with. It looks like some the fins might break off, right? And, oh. and you know that it doesn't corner, so you have to have a cable that shoots out and ties the lamp post so you can get a sharp corner. It's like you know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, <laughs> All right. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, should we, what would you like to do? It is 721. We've, uh, we've been on a roll here. Um, did, would you like to talk about the folks for, um, cool stuff or do you yeah. want to, uh, so let's do that. Let's go to cool stuff. This is cool stuff we've seen online. And then we'll talk a little bit about the upcoming sets. Cool stuff we found on Okay, so you're going to share your screen, right, Ryan? Yeah. Sorry. yeah. Um, and we will go to here. Oh, man, it's incredible. Yeah, so this is um, this is kind of my, what I think of as not like competition. Like, well, yeah, probably just competition. This is the, this is the bat cave that I'm most impressed with um, that's, you know, that's fan, made by fan. I mean, just, no, just full stop because, you know, Lego hasn't done anything even close to this, but this is, this is a masterpiece and it is the, the, my inspiration for, um, you know, building a, a bigger and better bat cave than this one. This is my 10 year mission to, to basically beat this model. Um, this, this guy, <laughs> so this, this is, um, this is Brent Waller. Waller customs is like his, his channel brand or whatever. Um, this thing, I think it's like six feet tall. It's, you know, he, he builds it, uh, puts it, you know, it's modular. He builds it from the ground, so he doesn't use a table. So I like that as a purist, like uh, as we were talking about earlier. Um, and it's it, it's it's not my style because it's close. It's somewhat closed, but it's more open. Like I, um, a lot of bat caves will have um, three, four, five walls. Right? It's a cube with be sit with six sides, but then they open one side so you can see into the cave. Where this is only closing uh three and kind of a half like so i really like that it feels more open but it's um closed in the sense that it's not easy to add to the if he wants to add you know 50 more bat suits to it you know it's it's a it's a redo right like um or he wants to add uh, an expansion onto wayne tower i guess he could build up but but it's it doesn't seem you know it, it's not like it's not planned in a way that's um extensible and that's that's the strategy I plan to use to try to beat it, but it's a masterpiece. It'll, it'll take me years um, to, 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 you know, to, to build something that I think is better than this. Um, but it's really cool. It's got, it's got like a dozen suits, I think in there kind of down um, like in the mid middle section and that, that back computer, I, I think, you know, my, my back computer will be much larger than that and it's animated, but that's a good, a really cool bat shape. And then he's got the rotisserie at the bottom um, that's, I think, got uh, eight, six, I think, Batmobiles in there, um, which is which is awesome. So th this is, yeah, this is really good. I really, really like it. And these, the lighting is great. I don't think it's Lego lighting. So I'm a purist, of course, with that as well. I only use Lego lighting, which is makes me, that's probably the weirdest part about me being um, a purist. I, I actually... Um... I I really support that. Um, I have always appreciated using Lego light, Lego lighting, um, and uh, I don't use. I, well, the my exception is I either use lights that Lego made, 
uh, or I use lights that I make myself. Um, and for that, it's sort of like it's a it's a part of a creative process, you know, which yeah. which was also my, my back computer. You know, for me, for me, it's it's more about process and, um, you know, creative process. And I think for so, you know, for me, like if Lego doesn't make it, it to buy it from someone else is just too easy. You know, yeah. um, it's it's at least compelling to me to go on a, on a creative journey of figuring out how I'm going to do something if it's not something Lego makes. But I, I am, I never knew how purist I was until I started going to conventions and seeing how people would use any kind of lights from Harbor Freight or, or, um, you know, to people, lots of people customize their figs or whatever, you know. Yeah. For um, me, it's just slippery slope, right? It's like, is it, is it Lego? If I, if I, if I go, if I go downtown and, and put Lego on a building and cover up the graffiti with my Lego, is that building, and, 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 I do, and I put some more on it, and I put a lot on it, and the building's covered in Lego. Did I build a building that's as big as a building with Lego? No, like it's still supported by, you know, like it, <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it's Lego or it's not Lego, right? Like, but it's, you know, it's not that black and white. I, for a lot of people, I get it. But for me, it's, it's just, it's, it's like cheating, and for me, me personally, I don't mean, I don't necessarily, I try not to judge people, but I do, I do. but um, <laughs> it, it's like, it's the challenge, right? Like, can right. I build some, can I build a better Batcave than this, than Waller um, with, without cheating, right? Like, can I build a better Bat computer than, than Boom without cheating, right? Like, without using non-Lego. And then, and then if the answer is no, then I try not to talk about it, right? Like, and I just <laughs> move on to something else, right? So, so that's cheating in a sense. But, um, but yeah, it's I like the challenge of it. Like, how do I do it with, with only using Lego? And it forces you to be creative in in a different way, right? Like, um, but I think both are creative. It's just it's just not a hundred. It's just not a Lego pure. Right. All. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, what else we got there? uh so so then this is your pick we, we both follow this guy on instagram uh one 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 eleven 11 toys um so but but boom boom told me to bring this up just just but this guy um this guy like you say he he posts a, a new batmobile every day so um i don't know if it's every day but it's but it's quite often yeah yeah i know and, yeah um, i don't think he says that and yeah he does, but he he uh He's the Batmobile guy, right? Like, and, and 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 part of this really reminds me of one of the reasons that I think building Batmobiles is so much fun for me. Um, you know, is if you look at the history of the Batmobile through comic books, television appearances, films, um, what else? Video games. Um, you know, there's hundreds of of Batmobiles from the history of of eighty years right. of Batman. Yeah. Um, and, and so the interesting thing is there's many, many, many variations, but there tend to be these themes, these, you know, reiterations that are, you know, sort of harken back to something that someone remembers. Um, and so in that way, you know, anyone making a comic or a movie or anything, uh, and for me, it's building a Lego Batmobile. Um, it is fun and challenging, and yet at the same time, there's this nice little fluffy net of the history mm -hmm. that that allows me to create something that's original, something that no one's ever seen before, but something that anyone can look at and say that's a Batmobile yeah and, and, and I and I don't feel like there are many things that exist that sort of fall into that category sure like you could build an Iron Man suit that looks different from all the other Iron Man suits and someone be it would be able to but there you know that's, I'd, I'd argue that's comparable to the bat to the different bat suits right sure like, sure the, it, there yeah what does Iron Man drive who cares right? no like, and, and there's sucks. no no other, um, no other hero, superhero of history right. has as integrated into their story and their iconography as, as Batman has the, the Batmobile. Um, you know, totally. it's, so it's, uh, it's one of the, the, the coolest. 
And another thing, you just you just hit on it there, but but another thing about F one eleven here is yeah. you can you can see that that time where he used to build other stuff. He's got some Star Wars stuff in there. Yeah. He's got some stuff that's not Lego. And then there's sort of like this defining line of like, right. yep, I'm just gonna build Batmobiles now. Yeah, um, yeah. He he was so. right here, and then he he was he was at Port Lug, and he and he heard you know he just posted this red red uh, <laughs> Pie Fighter, and he and. And you said I only build Batman, and he's like, "Oh, oh, crap!" Like <laughs> people do that. Like that's an okay people. I'll be accepted if I do that. And he's just yeah. Yeah, went nuts ever since. Yeah, he definitely took a turn for the better. I mean, okay. Star, Star Wars is great, but Batman is where it's at. Let's uh, let's dive into um, the sets. Let, let's do this quick. So we're gonna look at the sets that are just about to come out. We're gonna kind of give yeah. our give our opinion on these and then we'll do just a few minutes of uh of q a so thank you all for watching um we're gonna do just a couple more segments here so i guess this is still cool stuff we found online so these are about to come out in just a couple days we've got the batman brick sketches there's one of batman and one of joker um these these are from uh lego designer chris mcveigh so he was doing these for a lot of years before he became uh, you know an employee of the lego company uh, the Lego group. Did Chris have Batman and Joker ones on his Insta? I, I didn't. I didn't look. Did he? I believe. Yeah, like yeah, that? yeah. I know. In fact, I think he had a couple of different Batman, okay. a couple of different versions of Batman in his in out. his catalog from before he worked at Lego. But uh, let's see. So, so what do you think of these, Ryan? Um, so I, uh, I like these. I, I. These are the only uh, of the new of the new wave. These are the only two that I've built. These sketches because they're the only ones I have. Um, and uh, I, 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 I thought I'd like the Batman one more than Joker, par partially because it's Batman, but it just uh, looks good online. But actually, after building them, I really liked the Joker one. Um, the Batman one just up uh, when when looking at it, um, just in in person or whatever, it it, uh, it just seemed really plain, and his teeth get lost in his in his. Um, in his face like the colors are too close the white mm. and um the joker one online it looked weird the clips on his eyebrows bothered me but when i after i built it and was looking at it in my hand i didn't even notice the clips so it, and it looked really good and um it, it's uh had some cool um part usage like the um these piles on his collar are attached by one stud and then just angled you know to so this this isn't something you see Lego doing a lot in their official sets, but it's a you know it's a pro move kind of thing. Right. Uh, not surprising that Chris would you know would do that. And he did it for the ears as well, but it really gives it um, you know a, a bunch of interesting angles and then get and makes it um, really look good. The Batman one is a lot more kind of straightforward. Um, so yeah, I, I uh, yeah, and I so I have I have a big grudge against. Or I have a uh, what is it a um, a pain in my side when I look at these, but we can get, dive into because it's not exactly the like these. But I want to hear what you think of these. First. Uh, no, I, I think they're I think they're great. Um, I think it's very interesting. You know the story of Chris. Uh, he he had sort of in in my recollection two very iconic, um, you know avenues of mocks that he created of, of course more than that but the two very iconic ones were these brick sketches and he was doing these for years and years um i you won't be able to see it ryan but i'll put on uh, the screen for just a moment here's one of his uh, examples of batman from before he was um you know in lego product design um but sorry i'm, I'm just flicking through a couple things to see if i can show some people so here's a jawa um here's a skeletor so you can see this was something he was doing for a lot of years. Um, and I, I just, I think it's a very interesting story. Um, and, and the other thing that he, you know, did a lot of was, oh, I keep forgetting, I can't go back to that. Um, another thing he did a lot of was replicas of old computers and old video game systems. So um, I don't know that he had anything to do with the new Nintendo that is coming out, but I imagine he did because... He had a Nintendo mock, and you could go to his website and buy it. Um, and uh, so I think it's, I just think it's cool. I think it's cool that we can, that the story exists in the world where, um, you know, an AFL really, 
honed in on these two very specific cool things that they could do over and over and over again. And, right. that he, and that he did that for years and years and years, and now he actually works for Lego um, uh, doing very similar stuff. I, I just yeah, I, he, I think it's cool. I, I hope it's a cool story to him. Um, I look forward to hopefully getting to talk to him someday um, about that. Yeah, he, he essentially invented a, a product line for Lego before he worked for Lego, right? Like he, right. He, he, he figured this out and, and proved that there was a ton of interest on Insta and then, like you know, he just went to work for Lego like a couple months ago, right? Wasn't it? Or, like, I, it was, it's been a couple of years now. Has it? Um, uh, yeah. So you know the. Yeah, that makes sense because you need the the pipeline. Yeah, yeah, the pipeline takes a couple of years. So so we're now seeing his first sets. And yeah, uh, I just remember seeing his post like he's packing up his stuff. Heading, yeah. Heading, heading yeah. Out. So like that's um, yeah that's that's really cool that he, he not only I mean Afal becoming Lego employee that's that's not I don't think he's the first one to do that but he no. like. He, he's. I think he's the only one I've heard that created a product line. Um, right. That that's really really cool. Yep. Cool. Um. um so what? Let's take a look at. Uh. Can 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 you scroll down just a little bit? Yeah. There is um that Batcave Clayface invasion. The yeah. one one thing that I kind of like about this one, and I didn't uh, is the colors in the Batcave. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, it's got a very organic kind of like dark feel to it. And there was one other bat cave that I found from uh, some number of years ago um, that, that had some, uh, you know, a very a similar thing. Because, like, you know, I think um, some the bat caves... Bat cave, this is very similar to the first bat cave. Like, okay. it, you know, it's like, it's, it's I, for me, this, they went kind of retro here, right? Like, it's a okay. more classic computer. You got the dinosaur and the penny and, like, um, yeah, I like, I like, it. I, I like, I like that they're kind of returning to the fundamentals um i don't know yeah right. awesome okay anything else from the new sets that you want to talk about or um well what do you think of this one the, we don't have the, it yet in our hands the mobile the, base. the mobile yeah. bat base um you know i think it's a fun concept it goes you know way back to you know this uh i think the 70s the early 70s with migo the um you know the the Batman dolls that were more like dollish, you know, they had, they had fabric clothes and, and gloves and, um, and they were a bit bigger than the action figures of my childhood. Uh, and there was this big weird van called the mobile bat lab. And, and I, you know, I think it was, it was the same van. They used it for, um, I, uh, they used it for a couple of other toy lines, but it was called the mobile bat lab. And it was this big gaudy plastic, black van with all these different things that would come out um and so I, I think it's a fun i think it's a fun concept it sort of reminds me of that kind of thing i think it's weird yeah it's, um, it's not getting in the sense that it, it, it's it's not from comics right i mean it's if it's officially licensed some people consider that canon but right right or, yeah but yeah, uh, cool. you know again i mean with the bat batman you know it almost lends itself to Batman could have anything, right? And you, yeah, exactly. you, you touched on this a little bit with the space shuttle. Um, and, There's some uh, comics from that, but yeah, it's, for me, it's like any, any, like you could buy any one of these sets that Lego sells, or think of anything, and yeah, and you, you could make it look like Batman, you know, if you, if, and some are going to be harder than others, but conceivably he could find a use for it, and he has the money for it, you know. Like, right, right. The, the the thing I like about this set too is like it's it's more like about the parts, but the wind the windscreens both these windscreens uh, are have been made before, but this is the first time they're offered in yellow. And so mm. I think uh, the interesting thing for me, like for doing in doing Batman makeovers, is that oh, there are several sets that use that same windscreen. So you know if you want to just kind of if if I ever wanted to paint some of those black or or just you know you just want that shape um this one's the big bubble this is like the egg um egghead bubble you know that mech that i like that set um wasn't in our top 10 but there's a cool kind of egg man um, mech set that uses that bubble that i could imagine the batman version of that and the yellow would really make complete it um these capes are awesome that, you know, these new capes they're doing cool 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 all right um, that one's pretty neat with the, uh, chomping, 
You got the chomping Joker bike. Yeah, yeah I wonder. I wonder if that's a play feature. Um, it is. Yeah, I think uh, one of those pictures shows it. I think it's the fifth picture down on the on the uh, the one right above that. You clicked one too low. Oh, yeah, gotcha. right there. So you push that forward and it sort of chomps. Um, but cool. click on the one that's just the Batmobile, um, or just the just the bat, oh, yeah. you know, kind of car. Yeah, that's uh, you, pretty good looking. It's real small, you know, like it's not a lot of parts, but uh, I think that looks really good. I think it, um, to me, that looks like Arkham, Arkham, Arkham Knight, like inspired. Right. Yeah. Um, and that's that fender is a new part or a new piece. Um, yeah, that's black. really that's really cool. Yeah. I love that fender piece. It's yeah. good. Yeah, I like this one. I I think that's. Um, I think maybe that's one of my newer favorite, uh, or one yeah. of my one of my favorite of sort of all the newer, like minifig scale Batmobiles. That one's this one's pretty cool. Yeah, I would, I could, I would, yeah, I wish, I would, I don't, I get why you need Joker there in the set, you know, so somebody can get the set and a, a kid can get it and have something to play with. I would, I would rather have the, you know, a bigger model. I mean, that that's what I'd be interested in is making a bigger version of that Batmobile. Still with those suspenders, but kind of flushing yeah. it out so it looks a little bit more like a, a car and not just a windshield on wheels. You know? um, yep. Okay. Well, what do you think? Uh, should we head to Q and A? Sure. Here we go. It's Batman. A full Q and A. Na, 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 na. All right. Everybody, hit us with those questions in the chat. It is seven forty-one. Let's see if we can go for uh, for ten minutes. We'll 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 finish at ten to eight. How does that sound? You're uh, welcome to ask me questions. You're welcome to ask Ryan questions. We are wearing the same shirt. Uh, I told Ryan that um, I told Ryan that this was definitely the shirt that I would wear for this stream. Yeah, you you relied on my judgment, and that was and, a judgment error on your part. And uh, and I said I said you can either wear that shirt or not. It'll be up to you. Yeah. And uh, of course he wore the shirt. I um, thought that was your way of saying we should totally be twinsies. Yeah, I it's it. I love it. I think it's great. Um, yeah. I, have, I have a couple dozen more Batman shirts. I could I could go change real quick, or, but uh, I I don't know. I think I think we look good. So Potato Studios said, uh, I have a question. Were you the guy Beyond the Brick, I think, reviewed? But maybe they mean interviewed. Was there a, were you on Beyond the Brick? Yeah, the, uh, there, uh, they interviewed me most recently with, for that, for the Batwing in it. Um, uh, and then I think a couple of years ago uh, for that Batsuit conveyor, um, the, the round kind of one, it's more of a, bat suit merry-go-round in my head but i called it a bat suit from there cool yep uh jeff mackle with another five dollar jeff my friend uh i believe that i missed announcing your previous five dollar super chat uh so thank you very much because i think you're up to at least ten dollars tonight um Jeff McElwee says... Yeah, and he has a good question, too. Oh, sweet. There we go. So, I don't, is, I, don't, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but when uh, when Super Chats come in, it seems like Ryan usually has a uh, costumic reward. Costumic. Uh, Jeff says, Why do you both keep insisting that Batman is the best when clearly Nightwing is both a better hero and Batman? what so yeah so that's a fantastic question it's interesting because in my pursuit to get my girls to love batman um like so the marvel thing why like do i like marvel like they i had my girls during quarantine watch every single marvel film and i was thrilled because you know it's like i'm getting them into nerd them um but after doing that and then watching every one of them three or four times i'm like come on let's do some batman now and i struggled until um I, until Robin, like Robin and, and the more, like my girls have kind of taught me um, much more, you know, and, and they're like, of course, into Teen Titans now, and they just, they obsess with it. And I've, and then I've, I stumbled on the Titans show um, not too long ago. And, you know, 
I, I've had some of those moments where I've like, man, Dick is um, is pretty badass, right? And he's and he's he's thinking about some things more deeply than Batman about how Batman just solves everything with more violence and all. Like he gets real real deep, and he um, is super skilled, and he's and he and his and his costume's awesome. And yeah, in some of the movies, he he has to become Batman when Batman's missing. Um, there's there's um. Robin is 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 up there. I mean, I mean, there's lots of Robins, but Nightwing is specifically Dick um, and uh, Grayson. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's a good question. He he, uh, I love the question. I don't know. Yeah, people love Batman more than Nightwing, I'd say, but I, I love Nightwing a lot. Uh, I'll leave it at that. I just I I don't have a lot of opinions about Nightwing. Uh, I love the character of Dick Grayson. I haven't spent a lot of time with, um, you know, the materials where he becomes uh, Nightwing. So I'm just familiar with it, but I don't, I don't have uh, strong feelings yeah, it's about. It's more it. recent for me. It's yeah, my girls just get into it, and then I, and the more I look in, it's like it's it's a really deep history as well with him in yeah. particular, yeah. with Robin. Holly with a 499 super chat. Thank you, Holly. It says question above. Do you customize figures to match official editions or create versions Lego hasn't released yet or both? You actually kind of do a little bit of both, right? That was complicated. What, what? Yeah, so I think I think what she's asking there is like do you so so do you customize figures to match official editions and that would kind of be like what you did with um with oh yeah zebra like, yeah yeah, yeah. And, and then or do you create versions lego hasn't released yet and i think one of your most recent instagram posts is is one where you put together uh, a batman from um bad blood yes but bad and, blood yeah, it was it was uh batwing not to be confused with nightwing oh okay yeah. oh right so but I think that, but, but the point is, you do a bit of both of what she's asking. Yeah, you know the yeah, definitely the fan fiction stuff. It's much it's much easier, right? It's like at some point I realized you can just throw a cowl on any fig, right? Like, and um, well, you have to do a headpiece because the he the eyes and the mouth don't line up with with normal heads. But you you put Batman's head in a cowl on any suit. If there's no yellow showing, you can, you've kind of got to you can kind of go look. I did it. Um, and I've done a lot of that, um, and I like that. But what I saw, like, and this was part of, you know, when I started going on social media more. There's a lot of people that are that were better at this than me, and I really started following and liking a lot of these people. I, I referenced him in my last one. Um, he, he, I think his name was uh, let's see, Lego Superhero Customs. Um, he he does pretty much only canon, um, and. Uh, that's a lot harder. It's a lot more constraining, right? It's like you, you've got these, you've got the canon. That's what he, there's a, some variation in how he looks. And then you've only got, since I'm a purist and, and this guy's mostly purist, it's, it can be really difficult. So you kind of have to, I, I haven't done a lot of those, but I really like those. And I really like the format of posting the fig you came up with. And if it's canon, put the canon as the next, you know, swipe. And then it should be the canon and then do the parts. And I think that's yeah. a really good post. So um, this, so I have this. I'm showing everybody right now. So here is your version of Batwing. Um, and here is the image of Batwing from Bad Blood. So that shows the reference material. And then here is sort of a great little infographic that you made showing what pieces were used. Um, and I think this is, this is really awesome. Uh, and I would encourage you to do this kind of thing more often because... Um, I just I find it really compelling, and I think people are gonna like it. Yeah, I like it too. It's it's hard, you know, and it's like yeah, you have you for the like it's like what's the process? Well, I, I just like I I I, I liked that fig, you know, and then I and then watching Bad Blood again, I thought about like that fig for some reason. Like you you kind of have to wait for an epiphany, right? And it's it can it it's I can't kind of take my the same approach that I do with the computers, where it's kind of like I'm I need to build another screen. What should I put in it? you know it can be you can work on it more the figs are harder but i definitely i love when i think of figs that are based in canon i'm going to use that format that i stole from um lego superhero customs because that's that's the way you should do it and then it's clear to people 
Um, like, and I, I plan to do say like fan fiction if it's just some fun, you know, some fun ninjas like I did in that other post where like it's it's sort of canon in the fact that Batman um, was in the League of Assassins, but like, you know, those specific looks that I came up with. And then, then there's the, 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 the ninja movie. I can't remember what, the, I think it's just called Batman Ninja um, as well, but my, none of my suits really look like that. It's just, just kind of, you can really make, make Batman look like a ninja easy. So Holly, Holly also said, um, second part to the question, how far would you go to customize any decal work or is that impure? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't go. I, I, right now, my stance is zero custom in my mind. The one kind of exception you, you mentioned it earlier is Zebra Batman. Um, what I, I, I have a trick, my go-to kind of trick is there's a little sticker on the Hero High School High um, set friend it was like a it's the it's a doll set um from the friends very popular uh, the, yeah. the superhero you know, girls. It's not friends but yeah it's superhero the, girls the, the it's many right doll. yeah superhero uh, super super what what are they called super, i think it's superhero, superhero girls. girls superhero girls i think that's what they're called yeah yeah and and in there they have stickers that are just the right size to put on a minifig torso Here, I'll, I'll pull that up yeah, yeah we should and i and so um, that I have a video about it on my channel, but the um, the Zebra Batman video. But there's it's cool because there's a Batman, there's Superman, um, Wonder Woman. There's there's a couple of others. DC girls, there's, DC girls, DC superhero girls. Yeah, of course. How could we forget forget DC after all the fuss about how we're better than Marvel? <laughs> um, so so anyways, that I don't consider custom, but I I it's worth mentioning because. Um, and, and I even mentioned this in my video that it, like there is at least one set I know of where Lego instructed you to put a sticker on the torso, but the, 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 the line I'm crossing, it's a very, very thin one, but I, um, I'm putting a sticker over paint and I think there is no precedent for Lego doing that. Mm. So, but, but, so that's about as far as I've gone over the line. I don't, I don't change the colors. I don't use paint. I don't use stickers. I won't buy them. Um, you know, the, the, the really cool looking ones that China has, they, ha they have like just about every Batman from every canon. You can imagine they're gorgeous looking, but they're, you know, they're like 50 bucks and they're just not Lego. So, right. From all that. Yeah. Well, I was really floored when I saw this because I, I just think it's, you did an awesome job and I loved the video. Um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of cool that you have the actual, Zebra Batman there. It's super cool. My, but, my buddy Boone helped hook me up and, on that. And, and what I think is even cooler is that Zebra Batman is not some made up random right. thing. It's not a fan it, fiction. Yeah. It, it is it, it it is a thing that existed. Um I'd and, love uh, to see more of that. You know, like right. there's a ton of old, you know, especially from the seventies and stuff, you know, there's all this crazy stuff um that yeah, I'd love to see more of that. I don't know if we're going to see a lot of more Comic Con figs, but I, um, yeah, I'd love to see them, me just purchase them rather than have to fly to California and, you know, risk yeah. getting coronavirus to get it, the fig. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. Well, cool. I think that's really neat. Let's see. I I will do, we'll do, two more questions. Does that sound okay? Sure. Um, Andy, you said for both Boone and Ryan, what is your all-time favorite Batman show or movie? Mm -hmm. uh, I personally love the Batman animated series, says Andy, you. So, what do you think? What is your all-time favorite Batman show or movie? All-time favorite. It's, it's, um, right now... Yeah, right now it's probably the new Joker movie. Oh, okay. Um, and then, and then before that, though, um, I try to, you know, I just try to like look objectively and not not be too nostalgic. You know, you, you know what I mean. Like, there's this. I feel like some with some fans, it's like they cling on to the thing that they, you know, from their childhood, and then they never, they never consider anything, no matter how good it is. Sure. Um, and I just, so I try to like, if, if this both came out now, like, in, but also just how do I feel about it? And I think that that new Joker movie um, hit me deeper than, than any, uh, anything else. And Batman's not even in it, you know, so that's, but before that, um, uh, what? probably Dark Knight, you know, like that, which is also kind of about Joker as well. 
wasn't Batman in it for a moment? Wasn't there like a fleeting? Yeah, the kid. Yeah, yeah, as a kid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah, he's in it, but it's yeah, it's not. It's, it's not the things I really love about Batman, right? But it's, but it, um, but it was cool. It was cool to have. Yeah. Have him, fun to have him in there. How about you? Yeah, that's hard for me. It's sort of like I can live with one foot in each of the camps that you're describing. You know that that childhood nostalgia thing and the sort of appreciation for new stuff. Um, and so I can, I can live and hold those intentions. So I would say, you know, probably Batman 1989 and, um, Batman Begins, um, yeah. would be like my two, um, which is, is it Batman Begins, uh, 2005? Is that, is that right? But, um, uh, or 2003? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Um, or, maybe 2004. 2004. But, yeah, uh. If Joker hadn't existed, that that was the one. But either was, Batman Begins or Dark Knight. Like, I, think was, that, I think it was 2005. Um, but Batman Begins, and, and I think one of the reasons I loved that movie is it had that real, that real Nolan, Christopher Nolan timeline kind of thing. You know, he he has a way of like twisting, not twisting, but a way of um, delivering the timeline of a story. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a very compelling way it's non-linear right but it but it yeah. sort of like gives you the pieces of the information that you need when you need them most um and uh and and i thought that he just did such an amazing job with batman begins um in that regard so those would probably be the two that i would pick um however the tumblr this is uh something we we disagree on starkly we something but, we disagree but, but your number two film has a Tumblr in it. Yeah, Some, something don't. something we disagree on starkly is that uh, the Tumblr is about my least favorite Batmobile. Um, uh, well, look, if we're ever in a in a what what is that called where you're playing chicken with the cars, right? And you're driving that 1989, and I'm in a Tumblr. Like, I, I think we should do that, right? Like, well, maybe we should take some of your Fox money, and you can buy me a Tumblr, and you can buy yourself a 1989, and we'll just it's funny. go ahead and it's see. Funny. The, with the we can make that YouTube video, and with the money we make yeah. from that YouTube video, Good. it'll pay for those Batmobiles. But you got to front the money because I'm no. no. You keep <laughs> saying it's funny. You keep saying Fox money with that Fox money. That's probably I must know now how Jake Sadovich feels when I say shipping a bottle money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, I mean, uh, yeah. You never have ever mentioned it. I just, I just do you remember? To... You remember we didn't win, right? You remember we didn't win. Wait, what now? You didn't win. <laughs> you remember we didn't win the money. The bearded builders didn't win. You say? Oh. I just, I didn't watch the last episode. I just figured you guys won. You're saying you didn't. Though, Are you huh? kidding me? You didn't watch the last episode? <laughs> Come on. Yes, I'm kidding you. Come on. Yeah, it's, All a right. good point. it's a good point. Maybe the winner gets more. Yeah, because they got like the hundred k. They didn't get the Lamborghini, right? Like the, the no, that was a joke. There was no Lamborghini. Right. There was just a hundred k. When you take taxes and split it with your partner, it's like. But they don't have to share it because they're married. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, they do. They do. Children, they do share married. it, but they don't have to split it. Right. Yeah. That, yeah, that's true. But yeah, if you had one, it wouldn't have been that much anyways. But I assumed Fox was paying you all like each a million aside, and the prize money was just something. That, you know, something I mean, we got like, we got paid for great. the we got paid for the time we were there. Great. Buy me a tumbler. Let's do it. <laughs> But it, uh, okay. Right. Um, <laughs> Jeff McElwee says, Hey, Boone, I heard you were on Lego Masters. <laughs> and with that, everybody, I'm going to thank my guest, Ryan, Brickbat wow. Dad. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's been, yeah, it's, been a, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you all for coming. I'll just rattle off some names. You're still here. Uh, Aqua Mike, Shane Levin, Levan, Holly, uh, Dave Morgan. Thank you for being our our um our thing and uh, uh emoto you guys it's so late My, i've got stream brain um moderators They're, dave and moto are our lovely moderators um jake sadovich i'm glad he's still here he's been laying low for the last several minutes in the chat but uh had some good laugh emojis uh when uh when i mentioned him and the uh, uh shipping the bottle money um holly thank you so so much for your participation Potato Studios, and of course, as always, Jeff McElwee, and see you later, Brickinista. You're all awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ryan. I, I hope we get to see each other again in person soon. That'd be great. Yeah, I'd love that. And so, uh, hey, buddy. And until until then, uh, keep building some awesome Batman stuff. Everybody, yeah. this has been 
a special Batman edition of A Full Spotlight Live. Here's the outro. Let's oh no, go. that's the wrong outro. I'm gonna give you the bat outro. Oh, good, good. Let's go! Come aboard this Pepperio Winnebago. We're talking about the awesome fans of Lego. So build your mock and ship it into drive. It's time for a full spotlight. Live. It's a special Batman edition.